Hello everyone. Today in this video, we'll try to understand some of the digital technologies or artificial intelligence being used in banking process. So what are these uh, technologies and why there is a need to implement such technologies and how these are being uh, used in the current banking process. Financial institutions are applying artificial intelligence technologies such as cloud computing, blockchain, machine learning, APIs, and robotics to reduce cost, improve efficiency, enhance security, and improve customer experience. Majority of the large and global banks are incorporating AI for both back office and customer facing uh, purposes. Several large financial services companies are already working on proof of concept and implementing some of the emergent technologies such as cloud computing, blockchain, machine learning into their operation. Uh, like we, we are getting a lot of requests from different subscribers to understand some of the digital technologies being used in banking process and uh, it is also being asked in a lot of interviews these days so let's let's uh, get started uh, so now if you're watching this video or you are uh, on our channel for the first time please subscribe for more videos on email and kyc concept and if you have any questions or feedback please share your comments now let's understand why there is a need for artificial intelligence in banks and financial institution. So one of the important uh, aspect is regulatory encouragement. Regulator have been changing their stance uh, toward uh, advanced technologies. Uh, in December, 2018, Five U.S. government agencies, uh, including Federal Reserve, Federal Deposit uh, Insurance Corporation, uh, Financial Crime Enforcement Network, National Credit Union Innovative Effort to com Combat Money Laundering and Terrorist Financing. Uh, the document encourages banks to implement innovative approaches so specifically referencing AI, uh, that is artificial intelligence. In this statement, the agencies even mention that these approaches can maximize utilization of bank. And we have also uh, seen Aust uh, Australian Transaction Report and Analysis Center, that is Austrac, which launched uh, an initiative to facilitate collaboration across the Australian banks that include the application of advanced analytics to improve investigation of suspicious activity. Uh, apart from Austrac, the, the UK Financial Conduct Authority, that is FCA, has held multiple public workshops uh, bringing together fintech and established financial institutions to experiment with various technologies that improve uh, the identification and management of potential crime. Since uh, we understand a regulatory requirement, let's understand uh, operational and commercial necessity as well. So one of the important uh, uh, <clears throat> drawback of uh, current uh, uh, system where we have multiple legacy system, uh, where uh, it's it's kind of difficult to 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 gather uh, information in the current scenario. So what we have seen is uh, one of the important uh, aspect or drawback of the current systems are high number of false false positives, lack of data around customer tools and legacy database databases not integrated. A lot of information need to be reviewed and verified in the allotted time period. 
uh, management pressure to increase efficiency and investigation is time consuming so all these uh, factors so i have sum up a few of them and i know there are other factors operational factors which uh, uh, probably uh, expecting uh, financial institution to look out for a better uh, solution to improve or work on these necessities and it is also uh, important to understand uh, the key technologies in banking which uh, are being used currently by a lot of bank uh, today we will discuss very briefly about these technologies uh, which enable bank to manage a huge volume of data at record speed and to derive valuable insight from it all this translate uh, to increase revenue reduced cost and boosted profits the first technology uh, which we will talk about uh, is artificial intelligence so artificial intelligence is the future of banking as it bring the power of advanced and data analytics and also improve compliance artificial intelligence uh, is an umbrella term uh, that dates from uh, 1950s essentially artificial artificial intelligence refers to the simulation of human intelligence in machines that are programmed to think like human and mimic their actions the term may also be applied to any machine that exhibit traits associated with a human mind such as a learning problem solving uh, artificial intelligence make machine act more intelligently it include basic and applied research in uh, uh, machine learning deep question answering search and planning and cognitive architecture so another important uh, uh, technology being used is uh, robotic process automation robotic process automation is the use of specialized computer program known as software robots to automate and standardize repeatable business processes while robotic process automation does not involve any form of physical robots software robots mimic human activities uh, by interacting with the application in the same way that a person does machine learning is an application of uh, artificial intelligence that provides system systems the ability to uh, automatically learn and improve from experience without being explicitly programmed machine learning focus on the development of uh, computer programs that can access data and use it f- for for themselves it give computer the ability to keep learning without being reprogrammed a cognitive computing is is the use of computerized models to simulate the human thought process in complex situation where the answer may be ambiguous and uncertain cognitive system learn to scale reason and uh, interact with human naturally self teaching algorithm use data mining visual recognition nat- uh, natural language uh, processing so that computer is able to solve uh, problems and thereby optimize human resources biometrics one of the recent technology being used uh, is biometric like facial and voice recognition where banks are allowing customer to open account remotely with a selfie uh, ai powered biometrics such as uh, biometric match in real time an applicant selfie to a passport a government issued id card and other official photo identification uh, document uh, blockchain <coughs> uh, based on peer to peer topology blockchain is a distributed ledger technology that allow 
data to be stored globally uh, on, on thousands of servers while letting anyone on the network see everyone else entry in, in near real time. So that make it difficult for one user to gain control of or game of the network. Application programming interface uh, known as API. Uh, in, in banking, this means bank can offer third party access to its customer services through dedicated API. Uh, multiple third party can then use uh, banking services or also offer the same to its customer. Now, let's understand the use of AI, AI, uh, artificial intelligence and where they are being uh, utilized. Uh, the first uh, and the foremost uh, is, is uh, like front office or a customer support where artificial intelligence has clearly been used for customer support with uh, artificial intelligence enabled chatbots and voice assistants now the norm of norm at major financial institutions bank are implementing conversational uh, ai platform which banks can use to build their own chatbots and virtual assistant it's rooted in artificial intelligence uh, reasoning and natural language understanding and it can even handle sophisticated questions about uh, finance management some of the benefit are ease of use personalized banking services 24 by 7 data uh, digital support and ultimately efficient workforce uh, functioning today majority of world biggest banks such as uh, Bank of America, JP Morgan Chase, Capital One, HSBC are, are using chatbots. Uh, the, the next uh, is, is uh, the optimized alert management. The most popular use case is the reduction of uh, false positive. Today, 90 to 95% of, of all the alerts raised by the screening and monitoring systems are false, uh, false positive. Machine learning are being used to solve this problem. After the screening uh, engine has generated alerts, artificial intelligence enabled system takes the alert and run another round of scoring. This time using the historical alert generation and processing data and classify the alert into different priorities critical high medium low this help the alert manager to prioritize the volume of alert raised by the screening system business rule can also be applied to automatically process a portion of these alerts so for example an financial institution may choose to close the low priority alert for customer from uh, low risk countries this system can work as a plugin to name screening transaction screening transaction monitoring and is resulting in a significant operational cost saving and also helping the alert manager to focus on genuine alerts some financial institution have experienced phenomenal result uh, with reduction of false positive as uh, high as uh, 40%. Centralize uh, identity management. Uh, KYC, like we all know, the KYC is the first step for uh, AML compliance and work at the first level of defense against money laundering and terrorist financing. But the initial document collection and profiling and ongoing review of customer come with a, a huge operational overhead uh, redundancy and wastage of resources occur due to different business line on board the same customer in different kyc system to comply with specific regulatory requirement ai enables smart kyc solution make it possible to share the kyc file within organization 
while meeting the data and uh, regulatory requirements. Complex KYC workflows can be automated using a combination of machine learning and uh, RPA, which we discussed earlier in the previous slide. Uh, machine learning is being used for real-time transaction-based KYC anomaly, anomaly detection by analysis of transaction behavior profile, responses to the KYC questionnaire, and unstructured source of data such as email, chats, and news. A recent uh, collaboration between uh, RegTech and financial institution have resulted in project aimed toward creating as a service identity management solution, which many experts envision as a silver bullet for the problem KY systems are uh, having for years. Uh, automated document screening. Every AML compliance system deal with enormous amount of documents, starting from KYC documentation to the alerts and case management and so on. The document screening processes is different phases of KYC lifecycle are manual, especially when it comes to identifying the ultimate beneficial owner. The decision maker making process of an, of an, an alert rely on the analyst who browse through volume of document to gather information and a process highly prone to manual oversight. A natural language processing or NLP is being used to solve uh, this problem. Uh, NLP along with text analytics is applied to read through, uh, analyze and draw inference from volume of data, including unstructured text in different languages. Sentiment analysis of uh, natural language processing is used to extract negative news from raw text and extracted information is, is fed to the KYC and screening system. NLP is being uh, is also being used uh, is also being leveraged for scripting narrative of uh, suspicious activity reports. Uh, normally we call it SARS, and automatically analyze, interpret, and identify new or reviewed regulation. So for for many banks. Uh, ensuring adoption of uh, AI technologies across the enterprise is no longer a choice, but a strategic imperative. Uh, equally important is the design of an exe execution approach that is tailored to the organization. So that's uh, all about uh, today's uh, session. So if you have any question, if you have any feedback, uh, do write, write back to us. Thank you so much. You have a nice day.